Hey, welcome to the Thursday Live Cast, everybody. Wait, welcome to the abbreviated version of the Thursday Live Cast, everybody. Pre recorded, but, but wait, but don't hang up. I mean, don't stop watching because it's still good, There's right? No difference. Yep. We're There's good. No, We're all here. here. Here's the difference We're almost all here. Kelly's not here. Mm -hmm. It's uh, it's four four forty five our time. Steve can't be here. Kelly can't be here, and uh, I have a thing to go to tonight. But we didn't want to just play a rerun, so we're we're we rec we're recording for you early because mm -hmm. that's that's who the fuck we are. This is pretty much an almost. Why did I have to swear right off the bat? Jeez, like it's it's, that was a hard F. Too. I know. What'd you say, Lynn? This is a what? This is the almost live cast. We're like an hour fifteen. Yeah, we're very like, close, but still fun. Mm -hmm. And and uh, so still watch, still have fun, still have a cocktail with us, still enjoy what's going on. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, and we're gonna throw up a post right now on Facebook, on your Facebook, saying, "Hey, we're recording right now. If you guys if have they have anything. a question, they can ask it, yep. and then and then say, then stay tuned at six. They can watch it answered. Mm -hmm. Let me read an email that I got. Let's do it. If I can find it, in all my mess here. Here we go." You do have quite a mess. I wish people could uh, see. I gotta show them. Look at your. No, craziness. don't. I don't need people seeing my email. That was. <laughs> st don't show that. I might have to edit that part out. <laughs> yeah, you probably should. No, it's okay. No, I, I didn't show anything. But people won't stop their stuff and see it. All right, so here's this email. Uh, there it is. Um, Sam, my husband and I are regulars of at DZ Aikens and work up the street. We sat next to you and your friend today. This was yesterday. Chose not to bother you. We've been in the hotel business for 30 years and have seen how tough it is for celebrities to relax. We were touched by your display of affection for a disabled elderly man who you acknowledged with a big hug in the middle of your conversation when you overheard his wife pointing you out to him. Thanks for making his day and ours. That's pretty cute, huh? Yeah. So here's what it was. We went to DZ Aikens yesterday. I have lunch with a friend of mine, Kevin DeFreitas. Uh, architect, really smart, really nice guy, really enjoy our lunches, lots of really good conversation. Mm -hmm. um, and we're sitting there and this woman says, Sam the cooking guy. And she's like two sets of people over and I go, yes. And she's with a, a man, with the oxygen thing around his nose, whatever. And she goes, my husband is a huge fan. And I go, oh, that's so nice. She goes, watches you all the time. And I'm looking, I'm smiling, I go, I got to give you a hug. And I get up and I walk over and he's a large man. I don't think it was a wheelchair, but he's just a big guy. Kind of hug him around the back. And the woman goes, no, that's my father. That's not my husband. Awkward. And now that I sit and I realize, yeah, the gentleman's way older mm -hmm. than the woman. But hey. How, there's no way I was supposed to know that. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, in context, I think that made exactly people sense. marry at all kinds of different ages. Yeah, Am I correct? Today, yeah, that was kind of funny. Though. Am I correct? It was kind of funny. It's just funny hearing the story because we've always said this over the years. Because you, when you're out in San Diego or out anywhere, really, you yeah. get a lot of a lot. attention. Yeah, and yeah. I'm yeah. always curious to know because if I saw somebody that I knew, even if I love them, I wouldn't say anything because that's just me. I just wouldn't say anything. So I'm always curious to know the percentage of people who do who, say something who would go up to, to a, uh, yes, a personality or celebrity yes. or something. So let's Ma say we we're at Vaughn's and I see you with five or five different people come up and say something to you. Yeah. I'm on, I, honestly believe that there's probably 20 that don't say anything it could be the sort of the tip of the iceberg thing mm -hmm. uh for every one that does there's a bunch that don't mm -hmm. I, a friend of mine believes uh when we're out together that more people come up to me because of um my style of sort of a regular talking regular everyday guy and people feel like they know me mm -hmm. as opposed to a Brad Pitt. And trust me, I'm not comparing myself to Brad Pitt. <laughs> but as opposed to some, you know, as a newscaster or something maybe in San Diego, because they feel like they know me, like I'm a next door neighbor friend yes. kind of, I mean, really cute next door neighbor friend kind of guy, but mm -hmm. you know what I mean? <laughs> yes. <clears throat> yeah. It's like, yeah, it really yeah. is impossible to go places with you without like at least one. 
I stopped going to Vons with you years ago. No, and it's cool. And look it, I like it. I think it it says all the right things about the show. People like it. They come up. They're always nice. Whether they just want to say we like it or they have a question about something they made or they're gonna make. People come up with what should I make questions in the supermarket. Mm-hmm. I'm always happy to stop and chat that kind of thing. Yeah. I fully believe that without them, we, we none of this can happen. So I really be- that's probably been part of your success doing that. With and, and it's and it's never been awkward. No. You don't make it off. Never? Well, uh, I mean, there's been a couple of times where you've been like... A woman a woman hugged me one day in line at the supermarket. And I sort of it's... I've been hugged before, but this was just so... I was talking in line yeah. behind her and she turned around and went, Sam, the cooking guy, boom. And that was a little way mm-hmm. too much in my space. Hey, how about when some guy, you were just in a bad mood and some guy was like, Sam, the cooking guy. And you went, nope. nope. Yeah, I know. Not that day me. I did not feel like talking. <laughs> it's not me. And then the next day I went, I passed him in the same spot oh, in the same so mall. And he goes, Sam, the cooking guy. And I go, yeah. He goes, hey, you said no yesterday. I go, you sure that was me? Oh, I kept going. <laughs> I've actually got a funny story about that too. Um, one of my ex-girlfriends was visiting San Diego. Mm-hmm. I had never spoken one word to her about what you do. Obviously, I don't go around talking about that with people. Right. Um, and so she came to San Diego and the two of us and you and mom went to the Padre game together. Do you yep, remember? I do remember. And... While we, between the car and even before we even got in the stadium, maybe 10 people came up and, yep. you know, we're talking to you. And she, by the, like, maybe, you know, halfway through that, the, she's like, what the hell does your dad do? <laughs> he's, a, he's a gangster. <laughs> yeah. I was like, um, yeah. But That's that was really funny. funny. That was good. It was nice. It's nice. And people are always, always super nice. I did say there was that one guy in the uh, urinal of, uh, in the men's bathroom, standing at the urinal uh at a restaurant when the guy went like this hey <laughs> and i'm like hey that is so bad and i here's mouth. i'm expecting the Sam look at, and he goes like this hey i have that shirt i think i was just hammered yeah obviously and i go toasty. yeah and he goes yeah i think he reaches over to grab the tag yeah. and inspect the tag of my shirt probably with his penis hand i can't remember <laughs> whoa wait i did not know that he grabbed you and touched you he grabbed the shirt and looked i was like uh, i was just like what really you didn't even say anything huh i i was no i wouldn't that have said anything i just been like disgusting. what just happened Ugh. and it wasn't until after i thought we were both standing at the urine only just reached over and i hope the guy wasn't right-handed because that would have been the thing. <laughs> <laughs> whatever hey tell us about your um Dining experience the other night, your negative dining experience. No, I got, can I do, hold on. I just got open this okay. door. We shut it because it was noisy and now it's not and I'm super hot. It is really hot back here too. You could open the front door if you want a little bit. Oh, we it wasn't a dining experience last night. It was today with Dave Rickards, a place that I thought was going to be good. And the service was horrid. Oh, so what? And I walked in, and the guy gives me a Sam the cooking guy, love the show, big handshake. He turned out to be our server. No way. And it went downhill from there. I ordered a burger, and there's an option for different toppings on it, or you can order all of them for one set price. It's way cheaper than order them, ordering them individually. Yeah. So they have this big conversation about the things, and I didn't want the jalapeno part of it, but I want this. So I'll tell you what, just give me that. I'll take the whole, whatever that thing's called it is. The burger came with nothing on it. Not piece of cheese, not even the cheese that I wanted. Oh. The option cheese was crum- blue cheese. On a burger? Yes. And sautéed onions. And I wanted bacon. And there was something else in it. And none of it came with this. And he just puts it down. He goes, can I get some ketchup? I go, you know what? You could get me. You could get me everything else that I was going to have. What all the other stuff they ordered? He goes, oh. Oh, and a fried egg. Right? So now I have to wait till they make everything. Yeah. The fried egg comes out still runny part of the white on top. Mm -hmm. The top bun is now ice cold. And Dave's steak that this guy reported was just this fantastic piece of meat. I saw Dave cutting like this. Oh. Sorry. And I looked at him, I go, dude, you just do it a, you did a lot of cutting to get that bite. And he goes, I know. So obviously it did not live up to expectations. Oh, and I wanted it to be good. And he's picky. Yeah. I just can't take him anywhere. A cowboy place is like Yes. That's- it's ideal. Thanks. <laughs> so 
we went there because he lives, he works in an area of a million Asian restaurants, and he doesn't really, he's not really down with Asian food. Asian Central. Yes. Dim Sum Express. Yes, everything. I shake my head. It doesn't get better than that. Come on. Meanwhile, tonight, Lynn. tonight, I'm making, uh, I'm trying to make something from Lynn's people. <laughs> you are. Yeah. Do you want to talk about? What I was chat. It's request week. I was. Somebody said to me yesterday. You know what? How do you make? It wasn't even a convert. It wasn't even. Hey, make this for the live cast. Mm -hmm. It was. How do you make those crispy like chow mein noodles? Mm, Go course. hey, I'm gonna try it. Wait, yeah. try? Oh, what do you mean try? Like, oh. like attempt it tonight? Oh yeah, I was wondering if you've done this before. You have. Right? <laughs> no, I haven't. Try. Oh, you haven't? No. I think he'll succeed. I've done like a version with I've done a version with um, that I, I tried to get crispy mm -hmm. with um, the styrofoam cup noodle things. Mm -hmm. Drain them really well. Yeah, yeah. They never quite get there for me. I've had that before for me. So I'm gonna see if using uh, legit Asian uh, Hong Kong style noodles is gonna help. Huh. Oh. And I'll just do a little shrimp thing on top of it because you just can't. I guess you could just have them by themselves, but I don't want to do that. I don't know about other people out there, but personally for me, I prefer crispy noodles. Yeah. To I love udon noodles, but I guess I would just have to say that I prefer crispy to to the kind of mushy textured. You know what I mean? I think they all have their place, but what I like is I like the crispy noodles on the bottom and then mm. saucy soft stuff on top. Mm. Mm -hmm. Right. Yes. And I do the, they do that really well in, in Chinese restaurants, but let's not forget. They also have a ridiculous amount of heat that they're cooking with. Yeah. We can't walkers. get our stuff near the temperatures that they can. And so uh, maybe for anybody, for those that don't know out there, walks are meant to be cooked at very, very high temperatures. Am right. I correct? That's exactly right. And, very and, high temperatures. And, so. a, and a regular home stove doesn't get to the same level of heat that a, yeah. that a Chinese restaurant specialized wok burner does. And so, sorry. We're probably a quarter of the heat that they can get to. Yeah. And so with the two, I'm asking both of you, would you guys say that that high, high, high heat is kind of a staple of Asian food and definitely. Absolutely. I mean, it, 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 it get, you, obviously gives it something. Do you remember seeing when we were in Hong Kong, did we shoot in, in any restaurants? I don't think we did. In restaurants? Yeah. We shot up on the roof of the hotel. Uh-huh. Um, uh, oh, yeah. Maybe we did. We shot in that English restaurant, and we shot on the dock in Lantau. Uh-huh. So we didn't really. My first time there for the Discovery Show, mm -hmm. we shot in some Chinese kitchens. Yeah. Chinese restaurant kitchens. And really, they take the walk off. They lift the wok to stir what's inside it, mm -hmm. get it above the heat, and the flames yeah. are sometimes like this high off the uh -huh. off the surface. It's insane. Hey, um, look who's looking for her mama. Before I forget, oh, look, at, oh, look at her nice Lynn. Look at her with the back being backlit like that. God, she's cute. Um, before I forget, um, May is National Barbecue um, National Grilling Month. Yeah, it what is. is it? Is that right? National Grilling. So right. And next Wednesday, uh, on the live cast as a, a guest will be Greg Rempe from BarbecueCentralShow.com. Yeah. We have his website. Oh yeah. Uh, I was on Greg's uh, show a month or so ago, and um, there he is sitting this in his desk. Awesome. And he's a one-man band, and he does all the switching and everything by himself. That's crazy. And he's really good. He's got a complete radio voice. He's oh, a good he guy, but he knows grilling in a big, big barbecuing related sort of way. Mm -hmm. And he's going to be, uh, he's going to be joining us via Skype and we're going to be able to talk about some stuff. He's going to teach us, make us smarter when it comes to that yeah, kind of stuff. We could definitely, um, use some grilling tips heading into this summer. So anyway, yesterday I was, um, button around on his site and you know what happens when you're on the internet. And I can't remember if these guys are a advertiser of his, but I came across this thing called a pork puller and mm -hmm. I was, intrigued to say the least i didn't know what a pork puller was wow. and if you scroll down there it is yeah this is on his site scroll down to the video mm -hmm. uh right there it's it doesn't go any bigger than that but just click that and watch this thing for a second can we hear it sure bob mandeville here inventor of the roman pork puller 
This is the Roman Pork Puller V4. Look at this thing. This is the fourth version. The V4. This one is solid <laughs> stainless V4. steel. It is a beast. Wait till you see what this thing does. Watch really this. Want to touch and it. what I want to learn is how to We've make this. I want to learn Just how to grow that mustache. The smoker. It's a pork butt. Taking the bone out. Very important you take the bone out. Keep watching. All right. Let's see this magic. You did it a few times with the oh. pork puller. It is magic. Whoa. No whoa, way. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look it. And he's done. Look at Is that. that. Hooked up to a drill. It's hooked up to a drill. <laughs> no. And way. now you've got perfectly pulled pork for sandwiches That's or. That's pretty unreal. Is that insane? Look at. So you could take that like, and what, do it with anything. Seconds. Well, I mean, you, you wouldn't do steaks. Wouldn't do the same thing. Oh, okay. Here's here's. Yeah, there right. you have it. There you have it. He's amazing. Okay, that's enough. But what makes that possible is a it's the the type of meat that's on like a, a like a brisket or a pork butt. Uh -huh. It's like really stringy. Got it. Yeah. But also when you've cooked it, and I'm gonna guess that thing was probably a 12, 15 hour cook, and somebody's smoker, it's like it almost yeah. melts by that. You can the traditional ways with like some forks, right? Yeah. You just rip it apart with your hands. Um, so that thing does the work in like. Yeah, the one twenty fifth of the time. Do you remember the brisket we smoked? Yes, I do. For how many hours? Thirty yeah, hours or something? A long Crazy. Time to um, a lot. That would be an, an ideal meat to do that with, yeah. right? Speaking of meat, dear Sam, never been to Donovan's, and we live in Phoenix, where there is one. No. What? So on business in San Diego last week, we went to the Gas Lamp Restaurant. I have only four words for you: bone in ribeye. Yeah. Uh, bone yeah. in rib. That it's well, actually bone, is it three? Ribeye is one word. It can be two words, well, right? Bone, bone and ribeye. Rib. Thanks for the tip. So good all around. Mm -hmm. Dick. Okay, don't take my word for it. Listen to Dick. Go to Donovan's Steak and Chop House. Yes. In San Diego. Mm -hmm. Two places. UTC, which is La Jolla-ish. Mm -hmm. In downtown on the gas lamp. And in Phoenix, where Dick will now go because he's now been <laughs> hipped up to how good it is. It's yeah. So good. And you can go to Donovan's Prime Seafood here in oh, San yeah. Diego. It's an amazing place. And um, just for the record, for all the 20 year old dudes out there, it is quite a place to bring a girl. So. Yeah, you can't. You, you score big points with that, right? Oh my God. Are you kidding me? It's Donovan. I'm, it does not get better than that. I've been married too girl, long. Sorry, really quick. If your girl doesn't like steak, seafood. Right. Prime Seafood right around the corner. Yeah. Hey, by the way, and if she doesn't like steak, mm -hmm. uh, get the big, uh, the beef steak, a tomato and onion salad that mom loves oh, to get. So she loves. They also have seafood at the steak and chop houses. Mm -hmm. And one of my favorite things, that massive tower of onion rings. OMG, I can <laughs> yeah, eat that thing so all day simple, long. It's so simple, but it's so good. It's right. just one of those things. And while we're talking sponsors, let me talk about fixers. Mm -hmm. I'm wearing their bracelet. Yeah, you are. Live joyfully. I have one. Yep, Blue. and it's red, and it matches the uh, red flip flops oh, that I'm of wearing today. It does. It's two pops of color. Wait, oh, you got to stretch a little bit. Are there? Thank you. Nice little color, color on my wrist, little color on my feet. I was there today talking to Maria. Life is good at Fixers Living. Uh, kitchen, bath, and outdoor everything that you would want to see if you were considering. Any kind of changes in your home, inside or out, mm -hmm. they are the place to go to. Look at that. You know what that is? That's a dog sink. That's a dog no bathtub. Way. Where do you see a dog uh, bathtub? Not a dog bathtub. Did you put your big, giant, woolly dogs in mm -hmm. and you clean them right there? Even if you're not doing things to your house, yeah. go to the store. I think you could go there. They would like you to go there and they would like you to buy the things, but you'll go there and just get ideas for crazy yeah. shit that you could do at home. Hell yeah, you will. It's a wish store. It's a dream store. Fixtureslivingcom They're in San Diego on Dowdy Street. They're in Rancho Mirage, California, Palm Springs, and they're in Costa Mesa. And more of them coming. Mm -hmm. This will be the year of Fixtures Living. Really? They're really? spreading their wings. Yeah, nice. you can't talk about the places yet, but right. there's more coming. That's awesome. Looking forward to that. Yeah, thank you. Hey, I mean, it's five o'clock. Should we? Wait, I really want to play. We're talking Chinese food. I got to play what two videos, two quick videos to play. Okay. Uh, the first one, and you can take my computer when, when, when you want. Playing. This is called. Um, it's go okay. There you go. Watch. It's called a Jian Bang Bing, and it's a Chinese crepe. But this is from Beijing. Just keep watching. Oh, I've seen we watch, saw things like this. Watch at, this whoa. thing being done. I don't know why it oh, stopped. It's loading. Shite. Your internet is it's not okay. Good. We'll go back. Ugh. That's pretty cool though. 
Why did it do that? So Why is my saw, internet sucky? Do you remember we saw um, street lots of street food in Hong Kong that was similar to that? Should I just let it load up a bit? It's not even yeah, moving. Yeah, let, let it load up. Tell us about it while it loads up. Uh, okay, well, hold on. Let me see if this other one will work. Okay. Let me see if I got this other one. Hold on. Yeah, this is going to work. Hold on. That one's fully This loaded. one's called the Rice uh, Paper Lady. Yes. Okay, watch what she does. Here okay. we go. Oh, no, it's not loaded up either. <laughs> Oh, Piece man. of crap. You're just blowing it. Does Lynn have the links? We can run no, it no, back no. here. Will it run better there? Sure, why not? Why would it? Wait, the rice paper lady's loading up a little bit. Shoot, I can't believe this. Oh, I'm so pissed. All right, well, we'll, we'll, we'll work on getting them going. Let's just Screw it. Just we'll do talk, it Monday night, then I can't that? do it. No, you got to see it. No, oh. I'm not going to do it. We're, you got to see hey, it because Lynn's they're both really amazing. Too, so we're what? Pulling, it could we're be the video. To, we're trying to pull it up on Lynn's. YouTube. Yeah, do you want me to... Did you see that link? If you, Hey, Lynn. Yeah. If you go here, you'll be able to see the link on my computer. Well, it's loading for me too. Yeah, so we, are you getting the it. same one? Yeah, it's just not. Yeah, it's not just you. It could just be YouTube right now. Uh, it could be YouTube right now. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Let's watch. Look at look at how she does that. Volume? No, there's nothing to hear. Oh, okay. Do you see what's going on there? Well, no, it's like she has a giant something, a giant pile of rice like gluten in her hand. Oh, boo! What? And she doesn't use a glove or anything. She wipes it on that big. It's like the Evo that we uh, it used it, like the Evo. Uh, sort of, like we used it fixtures. Look how quick yeah, that's that is. Like but watch how it happens. Evo. What is that rice stuff? It's like a glutinous, it's like, it's like, a, like, like a pancake batter, Lynn, With on rice. her hand. A rice she dips her hand batter. into that giant bucket. That's pretty cool. Wow. Yeah. Uh, I can't get this other one to load up, and it's really cool. And I don't want to show people halfway. So we should re eat, cook something, or I can't. Get out of here and go to what I have to. And if I don't get out of here and go to what I have to, my wife is going to be very unhappy That's with true. me. That's true. She will not. Very unhappy with me. All right. You so ready? I'm ready. Let's go Let's make go. some. All right. So let's see. I got... Oh, that's hot. To make sure that I didn't lose any time tonight... Mm -hmm. I decided to keep the water going. Wow, that's nice. the way to do this. Don't turn the pot off, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I've got to cook the noodles, and they're not going to take very long. And I got to cook this other junk. What you got go there on that plate? Here. So I've got shrimp, I've got mushrooms, I've got these noodles, and here's the the, the wonton noodles that I'm using. Mm -hmm. There they are. Uh, oh, and I've got the mushrooms. Tight shots, I'm you got to go to the right, Dad. Oh yeah, I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. We're doing. The system's a little different tonight. I don't have to worry about that. So yeah. I want to get the mushrooms in the pan. We're you down know. our cameraman, if, you didn't, okay. if anybody okay. didn't notice. So um, I want to get these mushrooms in the pan. I love the way you chop. Well. Got quite experience. Thank you. Thank you. You know how many times I've cut myself? That wide shot's perfect. That shot looks good? Yeah. Okay, good. Looks perfect. awesome. How many times have you cut yourself? Yeah, a oh lot. <laughs> I actually have a pretty bad burn on my finger right now. Reminded me. Of you. So my wok is getting hot. I'm gonna throw this in. I have a little shrimp that's gonna go in here too, and I might as well throw a little red pepper in here right now for color. Yes. Um, or I can. Lynn's having like an affair over there with Haley. I don't really get what's happening. Okay, so the peppers can't, I mean, they take a little bit, but so do the mushrooms, not long. I'm going to throw them all in at the same time because I'm kind of on a time crunch, but it's going to be okay, right? So mushrooms, peppers, sorry, let me just get this in here. Oh, see what I just did? I just yeah, put out do? my flame. I just totally put out my flame. With the water? That's unbelievable. No way. The water splashed over. Oh, man. And now it's not lighting at all. <laughs> but that's okay. Ask me what kind of oil I just used. What, what kind of oil? oil? Thanks. Uh, I, think, I think canola. Ask me why. Why do you use canola oil? Well, because it was right here. It was the first one that I could grab. Seriously. Really? Yeah. So it, I it doesn't really it doesn't matter. matter. It doesn't really matter, no. Okay, so look at this. 
is cooking. I'm gonna make a little sauce for this. And the sauce is gonna be two things. Oh crap, oh I'm okay. Nobody move. Lucky you move though, sorry. If I go out of the shot, pardon me. Lucky. So here's what the sauce, the sauce is gonna be this. It's gonna be um, about a half a cup of chicken broth, which looks like that. It's gonna be soy sauce, which looks like this. One, two. It's sesame oil that looks like this. And you know, too much sesame oil will ruin things. So just that, uh, what else do I need? I'm gonna put the noodles in. Wow, it's not even lighting. <laughs> what did you do? I want more heat, so I gotta go this way. Turn this off, turn this on up there. There we go. <laughs> That's so, good. Oh, do, so here's a question. Do you yeah. have um, the heat just cranked up because you're trying to make them spicy noodles, crispy noodles? No, the noodles aren't even in yet. I'm just trying to cook these things fairly quick. Oh, okay. But when you do put them in, are, are you gonna crank yeah, it up? Yeah, the, the heat will be cranked. Um, and I need a little flour. Sorry, I'm out of the shot. I recognize that. I just need a little bit of flour. So, watch. I need like four tablespoons of flour. One, two, three, four. And water to make like a little paste. And the hard part is trying to keep it from being lumpy. The traditional thing to use, Lynn, not flour in Chinese cooking is? Cornstarch. Yes. But if you don't have cornstarch, Lynn, you know what you do? You improvise. Yeah, you use more flour. You use about twice as much flour. And it will be fine. Hey, we got a bunch of Facebook questions if you wanted to answer. Sure, I'll answer. Here's an easy one. Diane White, how many times do you test a recipe before publishing it, and how does one become a taste tester? Oh, that's cute. <laughs> that's cute. Um, I knew I had to throw that one at you because I know the answer to that is is not a lot <laughs> <laughs> you know what sorry i put a little sugar in this soy thing um there a lot of the recipes that are have shown up in the cookbooks are the result of what i've done on tv right and so that means um what does that mean that means that um i've already tested them i guess if i was going to put something in a book generally uh and it's not been in the show I will test it uh, a couple of times, I hope. <laughs> I'm, I should be doing that, right? <laughs> How about the time when you uh, were cooking a pizza for the TV show and you hated it at the end, so you ditched it? And I threw it in the, threw it in the, a uh, in the garbage. That's a real cooking show right, right. There. That's a real cooking show. Mm -hmm. There we go. I got heat back over here. I'm going to heat this thing up so that, so that the noodles can be in, happening in one and this in the other so I can get out of here when I have to. Okay, so these noodles only take a couple of minutes, right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to give them about another minute or so. And then I'm going to drain them really quickly and throw them into the, uh, into the, uh, the pot, cool. into the wok. So we got the heat going on the wok high right Heat's now. going on the wok. Do you know why? Why? Heat changes things. Heat changes things, Max. You're a good boy. Man. Okay. So I'm feeling a little rushed, and I don't want to be rushed, but... I really don't have much choice here. It's 510, by the way. Thank you. It is 510, isn't it? Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. Now I'm going to take the noodles out of here. I'm going to drain them. I could have made twice as much of that. You know, this is almost ready. I could have made a lot more noodles. Lynn, you're going to have to take your picture quickly tonight. All right. All right, so some oil's going to go in here now. And now the noodles. Is that a cast iron wok? Cast iron. Carbon steel flat bottom wok is what this is. So wait, is that cast iron? Yes, <laughs> essentially. Okay, because Michael Leonard was asking about cast iron. Yeah. Um, he wants to know how to season them, things like that. Yeah, we should put that on the docket. Yeah, definitely. 
Because that's a very serious thing for you. I mean, I one time accidentally put soap yeah. into a cast iron wok, and he got very upset with me. So you know, when I'm not seeing, I'm a little worried because I'm not seeing, I'm seeing the, the, the noodles seem to be sticking a little bit, and that's not really where I want it to go. Mm -hmm. And I thought I had enough oil in there. This may end up just being a stir fry. I don't want it to be a stir fry, but that's sort of what looks like is happening right now. But I got the shrimp in here now, they're gonna be fine. Yeah, I don't know if these noodles are gonna get where I want them to be. Um, well, we could always let them go a little longer and pull them off. Me and Lynn could finish the show. <laughs> Lynn could finish the show. No, I mean, they're sort of getting there. I think this might work. They just need to be loose enough that that when I have to flip them, I can flip them. So the shrimp, the mushrooms, the red peppers are in there doing fine. We're gonna throw this little soy thing in in a second. Let it stir around a bit, and then the little flour deal is gonna go in and thicken it up to make it like a little, like a little sauce that can, you know. Mm -hmm. The crispy noodles really beg for something moist on top of them. I think they might be okay. I'm starting to see something happen in here. In color? Yep. And Nicole Clark is wondering when we're going to be using some polenta. We we, were, we got that question a lot at the beginning of the live cast. Polenta? Yeah, and then we and then we cooked with it and then I mean we probably haven't cooked with polenta for 100 episodes. Yeah, we did the we did the shrimp and the grits with the polenta. <gasps> oh, that's what Okay, can we do let's do mashed polenta on Let's do who? A mashed polenta? Is that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like a creamy a polenta. We did, yeah. Creamy polenta creamy you want to do? Yep. Yeah, we do. can do that. Okay, so I'm going to call this and say that I want to flip it now. So it's stirring around in the pot. And it's okay. And you can see that it's kind of crispy. Nice. Yeah, they've got some good color. So now we'll let that. So this is here. The shrimp's almost done. Oh, Kelly wants me to be picking her up. Oh, I'm going to get in such trouble. Okay. I'll check the traffic report right now. Max, you should be calling mom and asking her if anybody can give her a ride. Do you want to call her on the air? No, I don't. I don't have time. Okay. And it's going to be really bad. So now that this sauce is in here, right, I'll bring this to a fast boil. She thinks I'm picking her up like now. I think we should call her on the air. No, I don't want to talk to her on the air. No, it's going to be bad. It's going to be bad. Please don't do that. Uh -oh. Please don't do that. There's an accident at Manchester. Is there? Yeah. It sure occurred 30 minutes she ago. She doesn't have that car. Can you? Uh, okay, I got my round dish for this. I'm going to put this this thickening agent in here now. Okay. And start mixing this around. And I can see it's going to make it way too thick. You got some like crazy too much heat in. going on under there. And I'm going to do this. It's going to make a nice little sauce for me which is what we want it to do. Okay, I'm almost there. I, I mean, honestly, if she could just start getting her way down here. You have to understand, Kelly, here's where we live. Kelly's up here. here and I have we're to go. at the red. We're at the bottom of the red. She's past that no, orange Max. diamond. What's the, what's the temperature, the speed? 11 miles <laughs> per hour. No, 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 that's really Funny bad. She went and got rid of, oh no, 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 no. Okay, here we go. Ready? Wait. Whoa. Okay, so here's crispy noodles here that go down. Ooh. Like that. And now check this out. 11 miles an hour at Lomas. <laughs> I'm, I'm completely effed. She's gonna be so mad. Okay, and now this, which is exactly what I wanted. I wanted this. Ooh, I wanted amazing. this like gravy kind of thing going on here, right? Yeah. Like on this, it's shrimp on a nest. It is. Shrimpy, uh, that could not look any better right now. Just a little bit of this down the side. Lynn likes it a little hey, bit messy. Hey, look, 515, perfect time. <laughs> no, perfect time if I'm picking mom up now, which is going to take me all that time to get I up there. I think we should call her. No, not on the air. I got to take one bite and then we're out of here. Okay, I'll get some crispy noodles down here. Watch for the pictures of this that Lynn's gonna take because they're gonna be freaking gorgeous. Mm -hmm. well, no pressure or anything. Because they're always nice, Lynn. They smell sesame. Oh God, I can't wait. 
Here's a corn thing? Yes. Absolutely. Mm. All right, makeup. If I don't get out of here, thanks for being here. We'll see you Monday. Everything will be a little calmer because I won't have this rush on my head. See you Monday. Thanks. Tell your friends. Everybody go home. I'm going. Goodbye. I got new